So being July, I decided I'd talk a little bit about solar panels and how I integrate solar into my house. However, summer's decided that it wants to bugger off. So being in the UK, humidity is something we have to deal with quite a lot, evidently in summer as well. So I'm gonna to talk today about how I integrate a motion sensor, a temperature sensor, and a smart power outlet into Home Assistant so I can control the humidity in my house. Okay, let me explain very quickly why relative humidity is important and what that means. So the temperature sensors that we've got, the, the Okara one that I'm using, for example, will track relative humidity. And what relative humidity means is that as the temperature increases, the amount of water vapor that the air can potentially hold also increases. So if you have the same amount of water vapor, but the maximum increases, it means the relative percentage will drop. So as the temperature goes up, the humid relative humidity can drop as the temperature goes down the relative humidity can increase and the reason that this is important is because things like comfort are judged by relative humidity and the relative humidity is also when you can gauge how mold is going to start growing as well so you can see on this graph that if we go to sort of 20 degrees celsius and you track across a comfortable relative humidity is going to be around 55 60 percent Okay, so now you're probably thinking, why not just buy a dehumidifier where you can say, only turn on between 55% relative humidity and 70% relative humidity and let the dehumidifier do its thing. Well, that's all, all fair and good, but how do you know when to empty it? So you're gonna get to a point where the dehumidifier fills up, you have to take out the tray, you have to go and empty it into the sink and pop it back in. How do you know that it's time to do that? You need something that's smart, and this is what we're gonna dive into. So this little guy is what is going to make the magic happen. Not only is it able to turn on and turn off via Home Assistant, but it will also report how much energy is being used. It also has clicky buttons. Not that you ever really need to press them. The conservatory dehumidifier is full. If I go into the kitchen to get a Cornetto, it's right next to the conservatory, it's a really good time to tell me that it needs emptying. So I can just stop what I'm doing, go and empty it, come back to what I'm doing really quick. Nice contextual notification. This is how the automation that we just saw works. So it's gonna check a few things to trigger it. Uh, firstly, if the humidity is above 69, which is, is kind of the, the spot that we want, because as we mentioned, 70% humidity relative humidity and above mold can potentially start to grow and we're also going to look at where how much power the socket is drawing so if it's below one watt we can infer that it's just idling it's not actively working and also if we walk into the kitchen sex motion it's also going to trigger this note this automation so we want to check as well that these two conditions are met so we want to check it's not drawing power and also that the humidity is above 69 because the, it could it could stop drawing power when the humidity is below. So we don't just want to announce based on that condition because it might be correct. It, it might legitimately turn itself off because the humidity is dropped and it doesn't need to be on anymore. So we'll test those condi two conditions match and then we're gonna conditionally execute whether it's before 8 p.m. because we don't want the Google Home shouting at us in the kitchen and potentially disturbing the kids if they're already in bed. And it's just going to call this uh, text-to-speech service and it's going to notify the kitchen, Google Home, that the conservatory dehumidifier is full. Nice and simple. Okay, here we go over on tab number two. This is uh, some of the things that you can see from the power socket. So this is what we're using in the automation. You can see the in the diagnostics, this is how much power it's actively drawing. So down here, you can see there's zero watts being drawn here, obviously when the dehumidifier is, is off because the humidity in the conservatory is acceptable. And then when it kicks back into action, you can see it's drawing, what is that? 
159 watts uh, seems to be roughly on average what it what it takes and then 185 at, at peak but this is this is really cool to be able to dive into and then for any data geeks among you this is a really cool sensor so it will show cumulatively how much power it's drawn so you can do stuff like look at the last month with longer term history stats and see that it's drawn about 10 kilowatt hours over last month so i think it's about 30p per kilowatt hour so that's going to be something like three pounds over the last month <laughs> i've spent sucking air sucking uh, humidity out of the air so yeah i don't know three pounds is that good is that bad i don't know take from that what you will it's pretty cool that we're able to do this though so just for completeness there's a couple of other automations that obviously go with it you need to know when to turn the dehumidifier on so we've got this this little automation here which is just going to say when the humidity is above 68 percent it's going to turn the dehumidifier on and then turning it back off again we've got this condition that says when it drops below 65 it's going to turn the dehumidifier back off we've got some other automations as well we uh we don't go in the snug as much so there's not really some good contextual notifications that we're going to have um, however we do sometimes hang some washing up in there so we've got um a duplicate it looks like in the triggers so i'm just gonna get rid of that um when it's triggered it's going to do something very similar to the other automation it's just going to sanity check that it's within the bounds it should be notifying us and it's also going to conditionally execute an action and it's going to check a time window that is acceptable to announce so this one's slightly different it's going to announce to all of the google homes and it's also going to send a notification to our phones as well just to say that the humidity in the high, in the snug is high um perhaps it's off and needs emptying and the reason, the reason for that is because sometimes it might be overnight when the humidity creeps up, when the dehumidifier is full, and we just want to make sure that we have a notification on our phones the next day so we know to, to, go and, to go and empty it. So just for fun, here's my dashboard that I have all of the humidities being tracked on. And you can see they're all within the range where it's really, really comfortable. And you can see a couple of, a couple of peaks here where the dehumidifier needed emptying. So there's, there was one yesterday and another one this morning uh it's pretty cool pretty fun to keep track of and my solar panel integration will be coming soon if you're interested here's a sneak peek i've got a couple of widgets and some details with readings inverter readings power consumption stuff like that and sort of how much it's cost me and you can see the difference between when we got it installed so last year before we had it installed versus this year we've installed and how much how much money we managed to save so if you're interested in that maybe subscribe to the channel appreciate you making it this far through the video and i'll catch you next time